Hello, and welcome to this video presentation, in which we'll describe how to improve SQL code layout and presentation using various features and options in Apex SQL Complete. As you can see, when you start typing for the first time after you select the database in the SQL edit, the hints list starts loading SQL database objects and metadata. Cache loading speed depends on the total amount of metadata loaded. To speed up loading, exclude unwanted metadata categories, for example, temporary tables, from the Hints tab under the Options form. The hint list can be managed from Apex SQL Complete Options under the General tab. As you can see, by default, all keywords are set to be in uppercase. Under the Format Keywords combo box, you can set how keywords will be handled. Highlighting the object from the hint list after a designated time interval, for example, one second, will result in the object script box appearing, showing the DDL script for the selected object. To set the time interval when the object script will be shown, under the General tab of the Options menu in the Display Object Script After box, set the time or uncheck the Show Object Script checkbox to turn off this option entirely. Now, let's highlight some objects from the hint list. And as you can see, the object script box will not appear. Positioning the cursor over some object will result in the Apex SQL Complete displaying a detailed description of each database identifier using the SQL statement that is currently being edited. A tooltip will show not only the structure and dependent objects, but also their extended properties when available. Just like the Show Object Script option, you can set the time interval when the tooltip for the object will be shown or turn off this option completely. Special characters, such as single and double quotation marks, parentheses, and square brackets, as well as multi-line comments, are used in pairs in SQL statements. And omitting the closing character will result in a syntax error. It is easy to make a mistake, though, and omit the closing character, particularly in case of deeply nested parentheses. Apex SQL Complete has a solution for this. To automatically insert the appropriate closing character, Use the Closing Characters section in the Inserts section of the Options dialog. With the appropriate option enabled, after typing any of the specified closing characters, Apex SQL Complete will automatically insert the corresponding closing character after the cursor. Aliases let you assign temporary names to objects, so they're easier to work with when writing and reviewing code. Apex SQL Complete will automatically create aliases to SQL tables and views if the auto-generated aliases option is selected in the options under the Inserts tab. In the following example, we can see that alias EDH is added for the Human Resources .Employee Department History table. Additionally, you can set the alias to be the first three letters of an object to appear in uppercase and always use as keyword with alias. Let's use the same object and see the results. In the following example, PR is designated as an alias for the production.product table. Aliases can be defined for all databases on all SQL servers, all databases on a specific SQL server, or just for a specific database. Aliases can be created in the Options window under the Aliases tab. If you specify a global alias for a table or a view, it will be inserted instead of the automatically created alias if auto-generated aliases were selected. When the Insert Alias Object Name in Where clause of Single Object Options is checked, under the Inserts tab, an alias or object names to the column listed in the Where clause will be added, even when only one object is specified in the From clause. Adding a WHERE clause will automatically list alias columns. When enabled, the Enclose Identifiers within Square Brackets option will automatically enclose an auto-completed column, object name, method, or other identifiers within brackets. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.